I'm bleeding. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today's saddle, we're gonna be trying the famous TikTok pasta. So let's get started. All right, so first things first, we have to preheat our oven. So I think it's 400 for 35 minutes. So so the recipe is pretty simple i'm just gonna go based off memory but everyone was saying feta cheese was like sold out everywhere but my Trader Joe's happened to have it but they didn't have these tomatoes so i ended up going and buying these right but i don't know if it was enough or they're too little so then i had to go make another stop and i found them then i got some basil too because i was like pasta needs basil okay so the first step is i think you just put all the tomatoes in here with stems or no stems? I'm not sure. We'll go no stems. Okay. But now, what if I make these and it's too much sauce? I don't even know how much I'm gonna make. Because what if I don't like it? But yeah, we're basically testing to see if this is worth the hype. Okay, yeah. We need more tomatoes. So I just realized that everyone who makes this keeps the stems on the tomatoes. And it looks really pretty and then they take them off at the end and now i'm kind of sad because i'm not gonna have that like pretty picture for it but now we're gonna add not this yet <laughs> to add olive oil i don't know if you guys remember from my first vlog but i was like oh i want i went to williams sonoma to get a bottle so i could feel cute when i cook oh uh, yeah i ordered it and i'm still waiting for it and this is the moment i wish i had my bottle you know what if I accidentally pour too much? Um, okay. I'm also kind of afraid. I've seen people like drench this recipe in oil, and I don't know. I don't like oily pasta like that. Okay, so now we're gonna add our salt and pepper. Honestly, I don't know if this is enough tomatoes. about to find out. I don't want to get my hands oily anymore, so I'm just going to go ahead and mix it with this. It's ready! Now, for the main key ingredient in the... Oh, I'm bleeding? I didn't even use a knife! Oh my god. Okay, B or B while I go fix this. Okay, we're back. Um, I don't have any band-aids in the house, so I think it's okay. So back to what I was doing, the cheese. Okay, so we have our cheese, and you just go ahead and put it in the middle. That's like a lot of cheese. And I'm not a big feta fan like that. Oil on the cheese. put too much oil so I'm just gonna spread that on salt and pepper all right so I think it's done and ready to go in the oven so I'll see you guys in 35 minutes actually I forgot we have to boil the pasta so let's go ahead and do that one Big mistake. Um, when the oven was preheating, I should have been boiling this water because now there's only 20 minutes left and the water is not boiling yet. So that sucks. I'm like trying to mix it like while it's fresh. So guess we wait. All right, the water is like semi boiling, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my pasta. I chose the Penne pasta. I don't know if that's how you say it. Pen, pen, or penne, pen. I'm gonna go with uh, half the box. Yeah. So the 
videos I've seen, they add the garlic at the end. So that's what I'm gonna do for mine. I don't know how much pieces of garlic. I'm just gonna make a good little, just a little, little. Okay, it's done and wow, wow, wow. It smells like pizza. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my garlic in there. I knew it was gonna be a lot of oil, I don't know. I saw someone put this in the blender and I'm a little tempted to do that, but maybe it'll thicken in a bit. Okay, honestly, this looks really good. And I kept mixing until it got like pretty thick because I'm not about to be eating like oily pasta. Even though it kind of still is, it's way better than what I imagined. Cute. All right, it looks good. And we're about to taste test. I'm gonna see if this pasta is worth the hype. I hope it's amazing. Mm. It tastes like marinara sauce from a jar. I think I need like, surprisingly, the feta is not even that strong. I think I need like, something else it just tastes like regular pasta we'll give it like a seven out of ten no honestly like a 6.5 out of ten that is the answer but it's just a little basic would i make it again maybe because it was really easy and it's all like from scratch but I don't think it was worth the hype. I don't think this is something that should have went viral and everyone's like, oh my god. So, do what you will with that information. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment below any video ideas I could do. Um, I think everyone should try this once because if you need like a quick sauce, this is pretty easy to make. If you actually have a whole block of feta cheese in your fridge and you're like, I don't know what to do with it, there you go. Thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!